my name is Lara. I'm the author of Grow Without a Garden, 101 Plants for Containers. Our number one question has to do with tomatoes, having healthy plants with lots of leaves, but not a lot of fruits and flowers. Tomatoes are self-pollinated, so they don't actually need insects, but vibrating or buzzing the plants can help to increase the pollination. Try to prune some of the lower leaves off. The plant has only so much energy to put into the fruits and flowers. These thin little baby branches that come out in between the main stem and a leaf, pluck them off. That could be why you're not getting fruiting. Some people have asked what to do about overcrowding. There's this one small chili plant in here that's like half the size of the rest of these bigger plants. We decided just to sacrifice this one and that will leave a more healthier environment for the plants that are left. How do you harvest and when do you do it? And that really depends on the plant. With tomatoes, if we want them to be ripe, it's just a matter of waiting till they're ready. Peppers as well. Chilies you can pick any time when they're green if you want green chilies, but you might want to wait till they turn red or orange or purple, whatever color you're growing. With the leafy greens and herbs, just picking a few branches or sprigs here and there is a great way to have a continuous harvest. Kale is one of those plants that just keeps on giving. It's more of an ongoing harvest. It has been really, really rainy this year. If you have proper drainage in your containers, this shouldn't be an issue. For some of the balcony boxes, you might want to look underneath them and there's usually only this one drainage hole. So making sure that's open and then even if you have a drill, making some holes extra throughout the bottom of your balcony box. 